So we have finally made it to the end, the Super Bowl. Yeah, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cheesehead Talk, where we talk about everything and anything Cheesehead. I am your host, It's AZA, and we are back at it again with another episode. But before we get into that, if you are brand new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. We are almost at 1.5K. So before we get into who I think is going to win the Super Bowl and my predictions and everything, let's just cover what happened on Sunday. Because, oh my, is it a lot. Also, I'm going to be starting out something new with like layouts and everything where I'm just going to be putting up pictures and everything of basically covering every weekend or anything of NFL. So yeah, my title for this past Sunday was Fallout. And that was the fallout of my hopes and dreams of anything happening this season. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. First, it's going up with the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, they kind of had their odds stacked against them a little bit, even though they were the one seed. But you know the, how the Chiefs are in the playoffs. You know, you really, you never really can tell about the Chiefs until they get to the playoffs. But they always exceed expectations. I had thoughts going into this game. The Ravens weren't going to have that many and much of a problem going into this game. But of course, I was wrong. Uh... The Chiefs got the first score of the game, making it 7-0, and then they tie up the game, making it 7-7, and I believe going into halftime, Kansas City was leading 17-7, um, and even though the Ravens shut out the Chiefs in the second half, they didn't have what it took to win the game because they didn't score at all until the fourth quarter, only scoring a field goal. Lamar Jackson had a little bit of an injury. They didn't run the ball at all, hardly the Ravens, which in my opinion would have probably been a different outcome of the game. I think if the Ravens were to run the ball, and I know you've heard this from everyone else, if the Ravens would have ran the ball, they would have successfully probably won the game. But their defense played amazing. The Ravens' defense did. But their offense just couldn't get anything going. And I know it was a sad to say and it was sad to watch the Chiefs win because I really wanted them to lose because I used to kind of like the Chiefs. And then this year... You know what happened this year, and that is the reason why I don't like the Chiefs. I just don't like them. But next, heading up into our next matchup that happened on Sunday, uh, you got the Detroit Lions taking on the 49ers, which should have been the Packers facing the Lions, but, you know, that that is what it is. And this game was really, really weird. Uh... The Lions shut out the 49ers in the first half, leading 21-7 to at half. 21 to 7. And then in the second half, you know how they always do. The third quarter is a curse. And of course, the Lions, you know, I went into halftime thinking, okay, is Brock Purdy, why couldn't we have had this team playing against the Packers? And then it just all went downhill from there. And I felt like I was re watching the Packers game, obviously, because the Lions, they had fumbles, they had missed fourth downs they kept going for fourth down and of course at the end of the game you have a controversial timeout made by Campbell and in all honesty I think if he wouldn't have called that timeout and they would have gotten the touchdown the Lions probably would have had a good shot at going down and scoring a field goal putting into OT of course he took the timeout leaving them only two time leaving leaving them only two timeouts after they kicked the onside kick and obviously they didn't recover the ball but besides all that, Brock Purdy really didn't play all that well of a game. He just kind of had help from the defense and a couple other factors. Once again, I felt like I was watching the same game that I had watched the previous week. And the 49ers just keep getting bailed out. And I honestly don't know how I feel about it. A couple of things to take away from this game, though, is that both teams played their best the Lions probably should have been to the Super Bowl I was I know this is weird to say coming from a Packers fan but I was honestly kind of rooting for the Lions just solely because I hate the 49ers and it was kind of nice to see an NFC North team being in the being in the NFC championship but you know it is what it is which leads me to the next topic I will be covering, which will be the coming up Super Bowl on February 11th. It will be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And in all honesty, I don't know who to root for. I think I'm just going to say I don't care because I really don't care who wins. 
But it's kind of like a battle of who do I hate more? Do I hate the Chiefs more? Or do I hate the 49ers more? Weighing out the odds. Last year, I was kind of rooting for the 49ers a little bit, mainly because it's when Brock Purdy first stepped up to the starting position of quarterback. Um, I obviously kind of wanted him to win over anyone else, really, because I really no one else to root for because the Packers didn't make the dang playoffs last year. But besides that, I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, I honestly don't know who I think is going to win the game. But if I had to place any bets on anyone, I'm probably, just for the sake of it, just going to say the 49ers are going to win. And I hope they do. I know this is really weird saying, and I don't really care who wins. But if I want anyone to win out of the two, it would probably be the 49ers, as sad as it is. Mainly because it's the it's an NFC team going up against the Chiefs. And I just don't want the Chiefs to win. I don't want them to have more spotlight on stupid stuff and everything. And all this Taylor Swift drama. I'm not even going to get into that. Because that's all I've seen on Instagram. Is, oh, it's Taylor Swift going to make the game Sunday. She has a concert in Japan and this. And I'm like, no, I don't care about Taylor Swift. Okay? I don't. I used to kind of like her before, and now with all this Chiefs stuff going on this year, I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. I cannot take this. So, yeah, the 49ers, I hope, beat the Chiefs. Do I think they have a good shot? I don't know. Who knows? The Chiefs may pull something out of their butt like they always do because I thought they was going to lose to the Bills. I thought they was going to lose to the Baltimore Ravens. I was for sure against the Ravens. But no, they go in and win. And that's all I have to say. I'm going to say the 49ers are going to win. And I hope Patrick Mahomes cries because he probably will cry like he always does. No offense, no hard feelings. I don't mean that in any derogatory ways. But it is just how I feel and a lot of other NFL fans. If you say you're a Chiefs fan, I have, I'm sorry for you if you are a true Chiefs fan. But if you're a bandwagon like most of the other people... I don't care. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you all enjoy, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave comments down below on what you all thought. And yeah, let me know who you all think so in the Super Bowl. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.